Alright guys, welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial here. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to breed villagers after all the updates, because a lot of people are still confused on what's going on with the villagers, why they're not breeding, and all that, but um, to be honest, villagers are just bastards, <laughs> they don't want to do it. But uh, I'm going to show you a way to get your best chances of breeding villagers. Alright, so today we're just going to be really using just oak wood and doors, so make sure you have a hell of a lot of doors on hand, because uh, the villagers breed by the amount of doors they have. But not just doors, they also need a lot of food. So, we'll move into that in a moment, but let's just start building this. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It doesn't really have to be this size, just make sure you don't build it too big, nor uh, way too small. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So that's 9 by 11, really. <coughs> and then just uh, meet up the rest of it, make it all even. And what's not? Yeah, because if you have it too big, well, uh, they, they don't really count it as a house so much. So make sure it's a decent size. Then you just want to want to take this up to 3 in height, so just like that. You're going to want to take up all the walls around. You can put windows on this thing if you want, but I uh, just do it as a box, really. Just It's meant to look ugly. It's for breeding villages. So this thing's not going to be up permanently in your village, most likely. You can pull it down once it's done. Purely for breeding. Alright, then just uh, find wherever you want the door. I'm just going to put it straight down the middle, just like that. Alright, and then you're going to want the roof just too high. Just like that. So just lay it across the even top here. Oh, yeah, and obviously you're going to need two villagers already. Uh, if you don't have two villagers, then I recommend curing a zombie villager. But I imagine you guys have at least two villagers. Um, doesn't matter if you have more than two. Just uh, make sure you have a sufficient amount. All right. And then you're going to need a lot of doors. So just lay your doors just all the way across like this on all the blocks on top. Now there's not much use to all these doors after you breed the villages, it's pretty much, unless you have use for a couple of hundred doors, <laughs> um, I don't think uh, it's going to really work for you. So yeah. I'd also recommend using wood for the house. Uh, I do believe cobblestone will work and such, I'm not sure about dirt, but uh, just to be sure I'd recommend just using wood, doesn't matter what type of wood, just, just use wood. Just to be sure that it will work. Alright, and then after you've got all those doors laid down, well, you know what's next. Because they count every, each one of these doors as a house, virtually. They think every connected door is another house. And when they see a lot of houses that are free, well, they think they they need more villages to fill up those houses. So they breed and create more villages for those houses. It's pretty simple, but quite smart concept, really. So you don't get overrun by villages too much. It goes by how big the village is. Even though we're doing this, and you're probably going to shove them into a smaller village, which is usually what you do. <laughs> More villages, the better, I guess. Um, and just across like that. And if you are doing this on a difficulty, then I really recommend you light up as much as you can, both inside, outside, everywhere, because you really do not want villages to die. Because, well, if you don't have that many, well, it's horrible. Yeah, I'm not going to do all this. Just make sure you place a couple of torches just across in between the doors. Um, next up is the inside. So make sure you light this up as well. Uh, and then I'm just going to place doors across the back, like that. And doors across the front, like that. Alright. Once you've got that, just chuck a door in the front. And in we go. Alright, now, the interesting part. Let's just block up the door so we don't have any escape villages. Alright. So, once you've got your two villages inside. So those two... Um, don't really do that much. We're just going to look for a certain type of village here. Let's see if we can find one. Wow, we are not getting the village that I want. How is this even possible? I'll tell you what, <laughs> we have too many villages. So let me go show you the village that I'm talking about. Right, they're not getting out. Um, where's this other thing I was building? I was just messing around with some ideas to see what would, would work best. So, this villager over here. The brown one is one of your most important villages. If you have one, then great. If you don't, don't fret too much. You'd, 
you don't really need him straight away, but it, it is quite useful to have him. That's what he's called at the top there. What is it? Fletcher or something. I don't know. <laughs> um, that's the guy that you're going to want. First of all, because he's a farmer, and he can uh, give the food so that all the other villagers mm. in the place that you're holding automatically. You don't have to do anything. He just does it for you. But if you don't have one of those, then just give them as much food as you can. They're going to need a lot of food. Make sure you spread the food in between them. So just, they can have any type of food, they can have wheat, they can have carrots, they can have potatoes, they can have beetroot. Uh, don't give them melon and uh, pumpkin though, just uh, the ones that you grow on a regular tilted ground sort of thing. Just those sorts of ones. Um, so if you don't have that, yeah, just make sure you give them a hell of a lot, they're going to need a lot. Because they also breed by the amount of food that they have. If they have a lot of food, then they think they've got a good farm going that can supply a lot more villages than what they have currently. So, then just... Uh, Keep giving it to them. Um, if you don't have one of the, if you do have one of those, then you can just give them food if you want. But okay, an iron golem just spawned. Hello. Um, or you can go ahead and build them a farm, because the, the farmer will actually pull off the food, replant it, and give it to the villagers around the place. So I'm just going to build a quick farm. Pretty sure you guys know how to build a farm. That's just to give you a basic idea. Alright, so those guys should be. I haven't chucked them any food though, so actually, no, they won't be breed. But those are the two main things that you kind of need to worry about. Um, beware though, if you do not have a. Uh, if you do not give them food and you don't have a farm, there's a till. So let me try to find this thing real quick. I wasn't really planning to build a farm, but I know how to build one. There we go. If you don't have... If you don't give them food, or have a farm, be aware they can die of starvation. So just keep that in mind. Um, we need to put in the water first. What am I doing? That's where the water supposed to be. Like, I haven't completely confirmed that theory, but I do believe that's what happens. It makes sense. It's happened to me a couple of times. So, just make sure you be aware of that. So don't keep your villagers locked in a dark room for too long without feeding them. <laughs> Otherwise, it won't end well for anyone. Alright, so, yeah, we'll just do a small farm just to show you guys what I'm doing. Alright, so now if we just lay the crops... Down across the top, we might just bone mill like one of these or something, just to have a villager pick it up. There we go. Right, we need some bone. I did not transfer that properly. Okay, what can we get with? Let's get rid of that. Why not? Alright, now let's bone mill one of those. Alright, hopefully we can get a farmer. Come on. There we go. So he should pull that off and replant it. Just like. And what he does with that food is he stacks, stacks it up himself and he also spreads it between the rest of the villagers that need food. So it is quite an efficient way of just having it done. So if you have a giant farm, like bigger than that, just a giant farm because you don't want to give them food, then if you have a farmer, he'll do it all for you. If you don't, then just make sure you give them a lot of food. I'm not talking about a couple of pieces, make sure you give them a lot if you want them to breed. And also, if your villagers do stop breeding at any point, that means you either need more food for them, or you can extend this out further. It doesn't have to be right next to it, just, just extend it out. Sorry. And just place down your doors. It doesn't have to be right above that building. So if you want to keep getting more and more and more villagers, just extend it out all sides and uh, keep placing down your doors. You don't have to extend out the building below, just the top part with the doors. Alright, so this is what I did earlier. I did the same thing that I, I did over there. Pretty much the exact same. As you can hear there, that is a baby villager. I haven't really checked yet, but I imagine that's what he is. There he is there. So there's your baby villagers. So these guys are breeding. When they are breeding, you can tell because they have hearts above their heads. I don't know if they're going to do it for me right now. They're not going to put on a show for me, I don't think. But they do have hearts above their heads, though, when they are breeding. That doesn't always mean that every time you see hearts above the heads, there is going to be a baby villager. Sometimes it doesn't work. But if you're seeing the hearts, that's a good thing. That means that at some point you will get a, a baby villager, and you're on the right track. So, I may have placed too many villagers in there, and I need more doors for these guys to breed, but I'll go in and double check. If I can get through the door. 
Oh, these guys haven't got any food, so I can't really show you that anyway. But that's the basic idea, guys. So, just make sure they have enough food. Make sure you have enough doors for the villagers. So, if you're not seeing any more hearts after a while. Uh, by the way, this won't happen straight away. You won't, they won't start having hearts above their heads straight away. Just give it like a day or two in, in game Minecraft, and you'll start seeing it. So don't expect it straight away, because the game's... Oh, there you go, there's some hearts there. Well, they're kind of going through the roof there, but he has hearts above his head. Um, give it a couple of days in Minecraft, because it has to recognise all the doors, and it has to recognise the food, and make sure that they do have enough, and then the game will let the villagers breed. So it's not an instant thing, guys. Just keep that in mind. But as you guys can see, that setup works. That's what I built over there. And... That's pretty much it, guys. I hope this video helped. I hope you can get some baby villagers going in your world. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to drop a like. And if you have any problems or suggestions, whatever, drop them down in the comments below for me and other people. And thanks again for watching, guys. I'll see you all in the next video.